as Alex Lawrence Barkley for Sense Media here at the inaugural Auto Sense Conference at the beautiful Auto World Museum here in Brussels. I'm with Gaetan from uh, Malexis. What are you showing off at uh, this particular event? We are making chips and system on chip and system in a package solutions for automotive. And what we show here today is uh, one example of a custom design mm -hmm. that uh, we have done for a customer. It's a LiDAR sensing uh, solution actually. And it's, well, I can show it here, it's yeah, a, sure. a small chip. And what this uh, chip enables the customer is really to reduce the size and the, the bill of material of their solution by factor five to 10. And so this means that our customer can go to the market with this product, a full solution uh, that is ready for uh, mass market adoption. This is a solid state solution? Exactly, so this is a solution which really gets rid of, of, of the bulky mechanics that you need to, to, to build a, a, a field of view of the, of the LiDAR system. This is a so-called flash LiDAR system. Uh, it allows, uh, without any moving parts, to capture a scene and well, get reliable uh, distance data back. See, the sensor is sensing in a, in a plane uh, and the, there is a receiving part, which is, which is really uh, the core of, uh, of our product. And there's uh, the senders, which are the two, uh, the two other uh, elements on, on the bottom, which are the, the, the senders, the LEDs. Uh, so it senses in a, in a horizontal uh, segment today mm -hmm. in 16 channels. And what you see in the, on the screen uh, are the raw data coming yeah. out of the sensor. And our customer is actually going to implement signal processing on this to recognize objects and to find back, for example, pedestrians in the field of view. But this is exactly the, the solution which, which a customer will, of course, make uh, more integrated and smaller, but uh, without any other part, this is already uh, a, a sensing solution, a range sensing solution, uh, ready to go. Right, okay, so uh, pretty much a finished product ready to deploy into production vehicles. Um, obviously, as we know, OEMs want to see solid state LiDAR more than anything else. Um, are, are there any other related technologies that you've got uh, on the market and you're talking to OEMs, tier ones, tier twos here that, that, um, that is going to go into the future self-driving car? Yeah, we see uh, definitely that, that uh, OEMs and tier ones are looking for solutions to enable the autonomous driving trends and autonomous driving is not only outside which we show here with uh, with lidar which is really for exterior applications but also as shown in, in presentations here at the conference interior uh, cabin monitoring is also very important uh, related to the comfort and also the safety of the of the driver and the passengers and the surrounding of the car so we have also uh, products uh, optical products which are uh, have much higher resolution mm -hmm. range sensing so like we've got we've flight product here so there's a time of flight product, so um, there's, there's a camera here, which I don't know if the camera can uh, pick that up. There's a little camera on the, uh, on the desk just below there, and on the right hand side you can see an image which looks like it's being fed with an infrared lit scene, is that correct? So on the right hand side you've got the raw video footage, you can just see me there, that's me. And on the left side of the screen you've got a colour coded, uh, tell me what those colours are. You can see that in the, in the right hand image my, my hand is close to the camera. Uh, there it goes, right center waving. And it seems like it's changing color the closer it's getting. There you go, it's getting quite bright red. My hand is only uh, about 10 inches or uh, 250 millimeters from the camera there. But the resolution, I'm really surprised to see the level of resolution that you can see the, the cut of my jacket. And uh, you, can see, look, you can see the line of my belt there. Uh, it's interesting to see that level of resolution. It's not something that I've seen before with time of flight. Uh, so that, again, quite interesting. And, and that's, is that going to be used inside the car specifically? This is, this is uh, really tailored for uh, in-cabin applications indeed. So you need, uh, for in-cabin applications, you need higher resolution because you want to detect, for example, uh, gestures, mm -hmm. or you want to detect uh, the driver's uh, head position, body position, shoulders, hands, uh, whether they, they are holding their, their hands on the steering wheel, whether they're holding perhaps their smartphone, whether they're reading a book. These are all, all uh, scenarios which will become very common in, 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 in when we uh, go towards autonomous driving. Uh, and this uh, sensor can be mounted, for example, in a roof module and observe the whole cabin and get another uh, input uh, for, of data for the, for the ADA system to make smarter decisions about how the driver and how the passengers in the car can, uh, can be more protected 
can be better protected and served by, by the car's functions. It's a, it's a really exciting demonstration actually. It's, it's one of the smaller demonstrations but seeing it work so beautifully seamlessly in the resolution it's working at is, is just fantastic to see and I'm sure people watching online will be uh, really interested to see this uh, working absolutely seamlessly. Uh, and uh, how close to market is this product? Well, actually, uh, our first generation is already on the market today. So uh, since uh, 2015, we are supplying the sensor that uh, is uh, used in the BMW 7 series uh, for gesture recognition. And uh, we are uh, extending the, the applications of this uh, sensor uh, by, by making a chipset. And uh, this uh, chipset will become available soon. And we will, we will really uh, market this product uh, more globally and, and for uh, driver monitoring as well next to the gesture recognition application. Yes, and thank you very much. You're welcome.